Hey guys, it's been a while. So, uh, I've been meaning to make this video for, I don't know, a couple of weeks now. Maybe two, three. I don't know. Um, and just been putting off because I'm lazy. Um, but it's been really irking me lately. So, I'm just gonna fucking make it. Um, so this is why I think OLG. I don't know. Like, I don't want to say scam because it's the government. I don't want it to come back at me. But, like, shady? I was like, well, shady. Yeah. So, this is this is why I think OLG is shady. Okay. So, I got my whiteboard here. Oh, 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 sorry, guys. Uh, I got my little notepad and my marker. Hold on. The black reading. Okay. So, just going to get into some stats real quick to show you. So, uh, we'll start with 649. That's one of the two big ones, right? So, boop. Odds of winning 649. One. That doesn't make any sense. One in 13,983,816. That number is off the OLG website. They do have the odds there. We're going to get into that later. Um, so, it's a pool of... 49 numbers, right? 1 to 49. And you have to get six. The hell's going on? Six out of six to get the jackpot. Uh, starts off five mil and it gets bigger until it's one. Simple enough, right? Uh, the tickets, you got three dollars per line and obviously the one dollar extra if you want encore. And it is two times two times a week you got wednesday and saturday nights it goes right uh we're just gonna get into this number that's a, that's not good odds right like 13 basically four, one in 14 million right so doing the math the odds comes out to 0 0.00007511 which we're just gonna round to 649 recap, 1 in 14 million, $3 a line. This is the percent that you win the jackpot. That's the percent. This is where it would be if it was 1% chance. You are very far down the line. That's like what, in the one, like a millionth percentile or something? Whatever it is. Um, that's really bad. You know what's worse though? <laughs> Lotto Max. So, let's get into that. Lotto Max. Wow, I great writing. Okay, so the chances of winning this are one in thirty-three million two hundred ninety-four thousand eight hundred. That isn't good either, right? Um. So it's a fifty numbers in the pool. You got to get seven out of seven. It's anywhere from ten to seventy million. This is what they said on their website. I. Like, it just wins when it's not one. Uh, but I guess it caps at 70 million, and they have their max million things, I guess. Not exactly how it works, because the website sucks. It's also two times a week. It's uh, Tuesday and Friday. And this is $5 per board, which is essentially what their line is. And then $1 for Encore, if you want that, right? So, <laughs> their percent... That's bad. Like, that's real bad. That's over half as bad as 649. So, the percent comes to, with the math, uh, five zeros again, and then three, that's less than half of what 649 was, right? So we're just going to round that off to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3%. Percent. So you got, so uh, 649s was this many, this was a 7, and then a 2. So you had zeros here, right? That's bad. That's real bad. <laughs> Those are the two big ones. I'm just going to quickly run down some of the other ones they have there. So Daily Grand is a 1 in 13,400,000. 
Nope, 348,000. 180,80. Let me clean that up. Uh, Lotario. Lotario. Uh, one in four million seventy-two thousand five hundred and thirty, which looks really good compared to the other ones, but it's <laughs> still pretty bad. Uh, Ontario forty-nine. Uh, it's the same as six forty-nine. One thirteen million eight hundred nine hundred eighty-two thousand eight hundred sixteen. And they have their encore draw. Encore one dollar on other get, and that is one in ten mil. Nice and simple, I guess. Um, the thing about these are they ha also have lower drag pots, right? So daily grant a thousand a day for life, whatever. Or you can get seven mil lump sum. That's like if you're old, you know, you're not gonna make it for long, and take the seven million, whatever. Uh, Lotario, two hundred and fifty k, and it grows until it's one. Ontario 49 is 2 mil. Uh, like, it's not as bad as 649 stuff, but, you know, their tickets are also less money. Like, Daily Grand is, like, like a couple bucks or something. Ontario, I think, is a dollar. Ontario 49 is a dollar. Encore is a dollar on other tickets, right? But they're not... You don't win as much, right? That's the whole point. Okay, so now we are uh, going to talk about how much people waste on lottery every year. So, on average, you'll have somebody buy 649 with Encore and Lotto Max with Encore for each draw. So they each have two draws a week. So 649 with Encore, that's four bucks per draw. Lotto Max with Encore is six bucks per draw. So you got Eight dollars a week somebody's spending on six forty nine. You got twelve a week on Lotto Max for twelve a week on Lotto Max. Yeah, I said it right. So together, somebody is spending twenty bucks on average, like an average gambling person, twenty bucks a week on six on lottery tickets, right? And that comes out to uh ten one thousand forty dollars a year that they're spending on that, right? Not terrible, but it, that's a substantial amount of money, right? Uh, we're gonna round that to 1050. Cause I mean, 20 times 52 for every week, that's how we got there, but we're just gonna round it for one more draw each. Cause you got a few more days in the year, it's a weird system. So that's how much somebody spends. Now you do win, you win free plays, you win some dollars and stuff here and there, right? So we're gonna say that on average, the average person probably loses about $900 a year. That's a lot uh, to be spending on this, right? Like you could be spending on other things, but you're wasting on lottery, which you know the odds are very low, right? Like one in 13 or whatever million for shit. Um, that's not good. That's really, really not good. The thing about that is, that's an average person, right? There's a lot of people that spend way more than that. And obviously there's a lot of people that just don't buy them at all. Uh, on the OLG website, it says, it specifically says, so OLG says. Now I'll give them credit, they do have all this on their website, all the odds and stuff like that. But it's on their website. Nobody goes to the website, right? Like you go to the store, you buy the ticket, whatever. The thing is, they have a, like their little lottery terminal screen, which they could be doing more with. Like that thing is pretty uh, involved, I guess I would say. Like it shows Amber Alerts and you can't just show the odds because they like to uh, get people to buy them, right? So OLG on their website, they say, uh, so past winners, like winning numbers, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Same odds for everything, right? Which is true. So look at past winners. You're not going to win. Like you don't have a better chance of winning. Um, also that uh, number, I can use the right side of this, number of people 
playing, that doesn't change your odds, right? You're playing against the numbers, essentially. Like, you might win less because it might be, like, a shared jackpot or something if you win and somebody else has the same numbers. But, I mean, it's, what, 1 in 14 million for 649? The odds are you probably don't have the same numbers as somebody. So that doesn't matter either. Um, another thing is... They tell you, so people come in and they have the little cards, right? Where they like mark off whatever fucking numbers. And they play them every single draw. Old G says specifically not to do that. One, doesn't increase your odds at all. Every number has the same chance of winning, right? No point. And then it's also like, think about if you are playing those numbers every week, you miss one draw and it's your numbers that win, You odds are you probably just kill yourself. It's harsh, but like you're gonna be extremely depressed because you could have had all that money and you didn't just because you missed playing one. So don't do that. Like just just don't. If if you're gonna use a little card to pick numbers, just pick random, whatever. Just change it up. Um so don't do that. Also, multiple tickets. Which is, which I feel is weird for them to say, but they say they they literally say on their website. Don't buy multiple tickets because it doesn't increase your odds that much, which is true. Like, what, two in, let's see, we'll use uh, 649. Two in 3 million, uh, 13,983,816. That's not much better than having one, right? It doesn't change that much. Now, it yeah, it doubles your chance, but your chance is basically still non-existent. And this is from OLG, right? So it's like, okay. Last thing I'm just going to talk about real quick. Lottery, right? The lottery tickets, 649, whatever. 649, the stupid, like, yellowy, ugly tickets. Kind of like this color up here. Um, you don't get any enjoyment of doing that. You buy a ticket, can't keep you in your wallet or whatever. You see, oh, my numbers didn't win. Done, right? Or, oh, my numbers won two bucks. And it's like, okay, cool. Right? Whereas you have scratch tickets, which, in, as far as I know, are better odds. Still not great, but are better odds. You get enjoyment out of it, right? So it's like, you get to scratch the little stupid numbers and be like, oh man, I got it, right? It's like, okay, I can understand that. But like lottery, you literally just lose money. That's it. You get, in, you get some enjoyment and excitement out of scratch tickets. But lottery, nothing. It's like, oh man, did I win? Oh, cool. No. Eh, just like every other week, right? Right? OLG, they have their little slogan. Uh, know your limits. Play within, right? T basically telling you, monitor yourself, which is stupid. It doesn't help these people that have gambling addictions. Um, whereas some, another government, right? So this is OLG. You have the, uh, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. I don't know if it's actually LCBO, but I know, I don't know it sounds good. So anyways, the alcohol people. Um, which is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they have a slogan. But people can stop you. Like, you can refuse service to somebody that's drunk. Uh. You can't stop selling people lottery tickets because they're wasting a bunch of money, right? It's like, if they want to throw away all their money, well, feed their addiction, right? That's not good. That's, that's really not good for the government to be supporting addictions. They have other programs in place for their stuff. Have something in place for gambling addictions. You know why they don't? Because it gets them lots of money. Um, That's basically it. OLG. If you're seeing this, which you won't, I know you won't, but like if you do, uh, just put the fucking odds on your little screen. So like make people more aware of the odds because it's basically a scam.